So we're getting into that fall season, almost fall. It's still extremely hot where we live, but I wanted to try these homemade marshmallows out for when that one cold day comes and my boys want some hot chocolate. So I found a recipe, no corn syrup in it, and I love that idea. So you take cold water, mix your choice of a gelatin in. I found this grass-fed one off of Thrive Market. You're gonna let that set and form up for a few minutes. You're gonna add water and about two cups of a granulated sugar. I did organic cane sugar. Once you have that all in a saucepan, you're gonna place the heat on medium to high. You're gonna stir that mix so the sugar is all dissolved. And then you will add your formed up gelatin water mix. So once you get to that point, when you place that into your stovetop pan, you're not gonna to wanna to stir after you mix it one time. You're gonna bring that mixture to a boil. You're gonna to want to watch it closely while it's boiling because it can foam up really easily. You're gonna let that mix, once it hits boiling, go for about 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, you're gonna remove it from heat. If you have a hand mixer, or a standing mixer like this, you're gonna add it to the bowl. It's gonna be extremely hot, so beware. Don't touch that bowl. <laughs> you could use a whisk. I did my paddle. You're gonna to wanna to slowly start that so it doesn't splatter everywhere. You're gonna get it up to about four to six speed. While that's going, you're gonna add your choice of a vanilla extract, about two teaspoons of that to give it the good vanilla-y marshmallow flavor. And once that's all in, you're going to kick up the speed to about an eight at that point. I lined a 13 by nine with parchment paper. I mixed a uh, powdered sugar and cornstarch together and lined the bottom of the pan. You're gonna get it to a white marshmallow consistency. It took at least 10, 15 minutes to get there. You're gonna line it in your dish. And you're gonna let the marshmallow set for about two hours. That's what takes the most time. And once the two hours is up, you wanna make sure and add some powdered sugar and cornstarch to the top. And cut them to the desired shape or size that you want. So once you get your marshmallows all cut, you're gonna wanna peel them out. It's gonna be pretty sticky and you're gonna wanna add more of that powdered sugar cornstarch mix. Cause right here, it's all good on top, but the bottom is very sticky still. So you just wanna coat it just because otherwise they're all gonna stick together. Seriously, the best tasting marshmallows we've had yet. And I cannot wait to have it in coffee. Or a s'more. Or for the boys, hot chocolate. It's going to be so good. Once you have them all coated in that powdered sugar, you can add them to any airtight container of choice. And these should last you at least two weeks. Enjoy!